Does your, your microphone, microphone sound, sound like this? this? And, and you, you want to know, know how, how to fix, fix it? Well, well, stay tuned, tuned and I'm about, about to show you. you. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Brandon Consbrook here uh, from the Con K Studios in Atlanta, Georgia. Just a quick tip for all you guys out there who are learning to record and have questions. Why in the world is my e uh, microphone echoing or delaying while I'm recording? Well, I'm about to show you here in Pro Tools. Um, if you go to your setup window, come down to Playback Engine, and look right here where it says Hardware Buffer Size. Right now it says 1,024 samples. And what we wanna do while we record is have it on the fewest number of samples that our computer will handle. Um, in this case, right now I'm gonna go to 32 and hit okay. And I'm gonna come over here and when I, when I talk into the mic at 32 samples, it feels like it's real time. It's, it's uh, you know, um, helps, helps capture the vibe. It's, it's a really good feeling. Now, when you have it on we go back here to setup window, playback engine, and we change that to 1,024 samples. What's going to happen is it takes 1,024 samples for your computer to process that information before it will spit it back out the speakers or through your headphones. Now, so, so when we, we turn, turn the recording, recording back, back on, there's an echo, a delay, latency, latency whatever, whatever you want to call, call it, it, and it can, can really bug you while you're recording. You know, it can really throw you off. So so that's just one quick tip. Come to setup, uh, playback engine. We're going to, um, you know, change this buffer size uh, to 32 while we record. Uh, if if you start seeing a, a error that says uh, CPU overload, well, that means you're going to have to bump up your uh, sample rate up to a little bit higher for your buffer. And uh, just keep doing that, and, and you know, as, as Keep it as low as you can while you record, and as soon as you're ready to mix and you're going to start processing your audio and everything, then go ahead and turn your sample rate for your hardware buffer size. Turn that all the way back up, hit OK, and you should have um, enough processing power to do what you need and, um, you know, uh, make some history with your music or just fun little projects for you and your buddies. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you really feel like you got something out of it, please click uh, the subscribe button, hit the like, share, and comment, and uh, be looking forward to more tutorials coming soon. Thanks a lot, y'all. Peace and love.